Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about um, altars that I see throughout the Americas, even in my culture, Jamaica. You know, um, a lot of uh, one one tip, or you know, that I think you guys should should take into consideration. I noticed that a lot of people have a lot of altars in their house for different spirits. You get what I'm saying? And if you was told by you know. Uh, some uh, a spiritualist that you, you know that to set up these altars and it's working good for you then you know I'm not you know then this video is not for you you know but if you're somebody who's getting into spirituality or just starting and you haven't put up an altar yet or you have many altars I think you should listen to this video like I said it doesn't mean that I know everything but it's something that I know from experience when you have set up an altar just because you're a woman does not mean that the automatically your altar that you're supposed to set up is, um, let's say, Yemoja or Oshun. Just because you're a man does not mean the first altar that you put up is supposed to be Ogun or Shango or, 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 or Elegua or Eshu. It does not mean that. You get what I'm saying? Everybody has a governing spirit for the most part or a guardian angel. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know if everybody, but if you on this page, I'm sure you believe that you have a governing, uh, guardian of spirit. Now, when you setting up a altar or altars, too many altars mean that that's a lot of energy that's going to be flowing through. And if you're somebody who's not supposed to have all those different altars, that energy may be too much. And if you know anything about um, science, we know that. If you give something too much energy, it has the capability of, of exploding. And if you give it too little energy, it has the capability of not running right. It has to be the perfect amount of energy for everything to run perfect. You, you know what I mean? So you don't have no, 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 like glitches. Now, with that being said, look at altars as energies. Now, just because you're a woman and you're a feminine woman and you have uh you may have a guardian angel that your altar you're supposed to set up is for a man it doesn't mean that your energy is of a masculine energy it just means that this is the spirit that works with your energy that's going to do best in what you're trying to accomplish in in your life you get me and the same thing goes for a man now when you're talking about um set when you're talking about the altars you got to understand that there may be three altars the most that on average I I, I, I say two but I must I must say three the most you know depending on the tradition that you come from is that you're supposed to have and I'll say one is your ancestors because we all have ancestors we all got to go and you know us and our loved ones who, who went before us. So, you know, ancestors is always number one. Um, the second one is your guardian. Now, depending on the tradition, some have a mother, some have a father, some have a mother and a father. So I say maybe two or three altars at most. You get me? Because most people who's going to spirituality, you're going in this to, 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 to get something out of life. And, and what I mean to get something out of it or get something out of life, I mean to have a better life. You get me? Whether it be to have food in your mouth every day, to have, to not be able to go to your bed hungry, you get what I'm saying? To have shelter over your head, you get me? To make sure that you have money in your pocket, so that way you're not looking crazy, you're not stinking out here, you get what I'm saying? This is what spirituality is about. It's not necessarily about getting rich, even though that could be a part of it, but it's more about making sure that, you have, that you're able to sustain your life, you get me? And your health. So, um... Yeah, when you're talking, don't don't think that just because they say, oh, to get money, you need Shango. Nah, Shango is not the only spirit that can get you money. And just because you need work, you need Ogun. Nah, Ogun is not the only one that can get you money. You get what I'm saying? A lot of these spirits could get you money. A lot of these spirits could get you work. A lot of these spirits could protect your family, could fight for you. Don't think just because you need to fight or be, oh, I need the God of war. Nah, bro. This is not how it works. You get what I'm saying? And and, and, and beyond that, a lot of elements because a lot of energies, are, are even though we aren't working with all of them, when they're out in, in nature, 
a lot of these energies talk and work with themselves you get what i'm saying so even though let's say you'll be requesting something from one spirit and that spirit may not exactly have the dominion over that it may work with a spirit that works that that it may be if not let me not say work with but it may be um you know compatible cool with the spirit or have a connection with a spirit that's able to do that exact thing you get what i'm saying so when it comes to altars don't sit here and feel like yo you gotta have five thousand or, or five six ten different altars to get what you need done because back in the days this is not how it was done you get what i'm saying it usually would be one one um spirit that will govern even a whole lineage of family you get me so i hope this video is informative and it helps with that being said if you know if 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 i'm not saying that i know everything but i'm just giving you my point of view and my experience all right one